What's up, guys? We're gonna put the rest of our short block together today. So, what we gotta put on? We gotta put on uh, our oil pump, our front covers, our timing chains, all that good stuff. Um, and then we'll go ahead and put the water pump on and some other accessory stuff that goes on the side of the block. But, um, first things first, gotta clean everything up, make everything nice and shiny again, and then we'll get to it. accessories on this car's got a oil relocation kit we got our feed for our turbo got our front stuff on and we went ahead and got our water pump installed and our new knock sensor so we're good to go now uh, now we're gonna go ahead and clean up the head and get this head on cleaned up our head got to make sure you get all the oil residue and all the crap off I'll do one more light clean before I put it on, but I got all the heavy stuff off. We got the ports and stuff cleaned up, got the gaskets. So all we gotta do now <clears throat> is get our head gasket. So in the F series, uh, you do have to apply a little bit of um, sealant around this area where the oil can leak out. But everything else <clears throat> is gonna be dry. Uh, I use Honda OEM head gaskets. So the head gasket will go down, the head will go on top, and we'll uh, get the studs in and torque her down. down ready to go it's got a nice valve train it's got six six exhaust stems and then it's got some dual spring fiera comp plus actually these are super tech on this side but really nice uh really nice valve train really similar to what i got in my car uh but uh so next we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and assemble the rest of the valve train up top and uh throw a valve cover on this girl She'll be ready to go in the car. All right, so I just want to explain the timing situation on the F-Series. So we got our gear in. This is our main idler gear that runs your timing sink. So this chain, as you saw in the other video, goes all the way down, runs around the crank, and then our um, cams run on this tooth here to keep them in sync. So with the F-Series, the main thing is you need to be top dead center and of course double check with uh, something down in your cylinder to make sure this piston is all the way up. And then um, you can match up your chains so there's certain little arrows and guides through the manual. It doesn't really matter. The only thing that matters is that number one is up. Um, I like to get this lined up so you see these two little lines and all this tells you that everything is top dead center and your gear is top dead center with your bottom. So when you put your cams in, you'll see the cams have two little marks. Once you get them along this gear, if you're lined up here, which means you're all top dead center and your cam marks are lined up here, you're good to go. So F-Series is pretty easy to, to get timed up. A lot of guys have issues with it, I'm not really sure why. It could be too because the motor does sit in there kind of cockeyed just like this. So guys think that the lines have to be like that, but they don't. You have to cock like this 
and make sure everything lines up even with the deck. So, all right, let's go ahead and get this valve train on. All right, I thought I would uh, bring you guys on the journey of applying a valve train and a VTEC motor, because it is not fun. The main reason it's not fun is you gotta deal with three different rockers on every load, and they're swinging everywhere. Super hard to um, control. You'll see here in a minute. So, uh, what some guys do is they do like rubber bands um, to kind of try to hold the rockers in one place. I've just kind of found that it just, I don't know, it's more work than really it helps. Um, so really what I found is I just fight with it. So uh, sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's a pain in the ass. Um, so let's see how she goes on. What I typically do is I try to hold it tight and flip it. And you see that doesn't really work. So pull the back, get the rockers where they need to be, which is up. Try one more time. So you grip together hard, try to flip it up. All right, I have one side down, so then you gotta flip this side up. Try to get the, the side to go down. And it's just a real awesome time, guys, let me tell you. Start to get really good with several fingers. Like what just fell from the motor? No worries, just an intake nut. Alright. I've jammed up here on a spark plug. Come on. Right when you think you're getting somewhere, you're not getting anywhere. Alright, let's get to one side in. Alright, one side's halfway in. There we go. There we fell down. All right, now, now we're close. We're getting close now. All right, I think we're in, guys. So as you can see on on the VTEC system, uh, you have your VTEC rockers, which is your two actual rockers, and you have your center lobe, which locks everything. So once it sees oil pressure. These pins rock over, and then your cam rides on this big center lobe, and that's VTEC. But they make for a, a real pain to uh, get the valve train in. But it uh, looks like she's down. Give her a little tap. So it does have guide pins, so that way you're, you're on. We're on, make sure everything's free. Everything's moving good. We're good to go. So that is how you put VTEC in valve train. Uh, real pain, but uh, gotta be done. All right, we'll get the cams in next. So we have our um, intake and our exhaust cam. So make sure you put your, your intake and your exhaust where they go. Of course, guys, make sure you have lubrication. All 
All right, we're gonna throw in our exhaust side. Um, and on here you have a little mark, if you guys can see that, there's a little dash on this cam. That's gotta go that way. So, we'll just kinda lay our cam in there. Kinda facing that way, and if it's top dead center, it um, it's pretty, it's pretty close. And our intake side, and again, you want your dash towards your other dash. Be double speed high speed. <coughs> What's the feel for and all that? So now it goes down. I'll do the rest by hand because uh, you can't just jam all these down the power tools. Starting from the center cam. And when you're doing this, make sure what I like to do is make sure that it's going good. Now nothing's binding up. You cannot have bind issues. And then we can do a complete rotation on the motor. It's all working well, guys. Everything's sounding good, guys. Got full rotation. Let's bring it back up to uh, the center here. There's top dead center. Our cams are lining up. Everything's lining up. Looking good. That little snap sound you're sounding is the uh, tensioner, so the chain is kind of kicking. And uh, once you get your tensioner in the side here, uh, I won't do that anymore, of course. But uh, that's what that, that slapping sound is. But everything looks good, guys. Um, we'll put a little dab of assembly lube on the cams here for our initial startup. Alright guys, so throw the valve cover on it and should be good to go. We got our valve cover on and we got a full motor ready to go guys. So we're gonna go ahead and pop our intake on. So I like to run, I like to put the intake on before I put it in, in the car. It's just easier to put on. And then I'm still able to get to everything I need to get to in the car. It makes it a little more difficult, but putting the intake manifold on first is way easier. Um, trying to get this on in a car with these, these bolts underneath is a real pain. So I go ahead and stick the intake manifold on, and then she'll be ready for install next week. 
We got her together. Got our FICs in now, 2150s. Intake manifold. Going, went ahead and put the turbo on there real quick so you guys could see the turbo kit set up. It's a lot different manifold than what I got, but she works. You can see why you need to do a reloc relocation there. 62-62 turbo. It's in pretty good shape too. She said make some good power. All right guys, well that's probably gonna do it. Um, we got her together. Now we just gotta get her in there. Um, we got a nice looking motor here. Customers be real happy. It's got a nice little 62-62 and uh, she makes pretty good power. Be a really nice street, street car for them. Um, so next time I see you, we'll be getting this motor and transmission bolted up and in the car and then we're off to tuning. So uh, again, thanks for supporting. Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time, guys. Take it easy.